Hi and welcome to another My Maths uh, walkthrough. Uh, this is 257 Angle Reasoning. Um, here we go. So we've got equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle, all the angles inside are going to be 60 degrees. Let's write them in. 60, 60, 60. Always useful to write on the diagrams. And now we can clearly see X has got to be 60 degrees. One mark. Okay, next one. So we've got uh, all these uh, isosceles triangles now. What we know is AB is equal to AC. So this line has got to be the same as this line. And the thing we know about uh, isosceles triangles is that the base angles, the angles at the bottom of the lines, are going to be equal. So this angle and this angle are both going to be equal. Uh, the next thing we know is the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So if the angles in a triangle add up to 180, I've got 180, take away the 42, is 138. Uh, so the, both these two have got to add up to 138. So if I just divide that by 2, I will get uh, 69 degrees, I think. Uh, 69, 70, yeah, 69 degrees each. So 69 for that one, 69 for that one. And we now can see angle X is 69. Um, this second one, isosceles triangle again, ABC. So AB, that one, is equal to this one, AC, that one down there. Uh, so the angles at the bottom, this one and this one, have to be the same. So we've got 34 degrees here. Uh, the next thing we can see is we've got a 90 degree angle indicated by the little square in there. And right now, this angle at the other side of 90 degrees must be 90 degrees as well. And that's because angles at a point on a line, there's the point on the line, after 180. So this side's 90 and this side's got to be 90 as well to make up the um, 180 degrees at that point. Uh, the next thing I've got is if uh, I look at this triangle here, this half of the triangle, then the angles in this triangle have to add up to 180, and therefore I've got 90, I've got 34, so 90 plus 34 is 124 degrees so far, and that means I'm 56 short, 56 up here, for 180. Okay, so X is 56 on that question. On the bottom here, we've got um, ABC, so AB, A, what's AB, AB is that one, AC is this one down here, uh, so for an isosceles triangle, the angle is at the base, which is this one, and this one, so it's the bottom of the lines, not the actual bottom of the shape, because uh, the triangle is just falling over. So these two are the same, so now we've got 75 degrees in this corner as well, from that 75. So angles at the, the base angles in isosceles triangles are equal, and it doesn't matter if the triangle is falling over. Uh, next we've got the, um, what have we got next? I've now got angles inside a triangle at 180. So these two, 75 at 75 is 150. So 75 plus 75 equals 150, which means I'm 30 degrees short of the 180. So X is 30 degrees. Next question. I've got, uh, there's my isosceles triangle where AB is equal to AC. So AB, that one is equal to AC, so this one over here. So this angle is whatever this angle is going to be over here. So if I just work out that angle, then that angle is whatever that is. Now because I know this one's 90 degrees, it's a square, um, I've got, if I look at this half of the triangle, um, I've got angles inside this triangle have to be 180. So, so far I've got 90 and 66, or so 90 plus 66 equals 156 degrees. Uh, and that's telling me that the angle over here has to be 24 degrees because angles in a triangle 180 and then because it's an isosceles triangle and the base angles are equal in isosceles triangles over here we've also got 24 degrees so x is 24. All right. I'm going quite quickly uh, you can pause the video and go back and um, just take your time watch it a couple of times if you need to. Flipping over, we've got our next uh, page on the my maths task. Uh, looks like this one. So we told this is a rectangle. I'm trying to find this x. Now the thing about rectangles in corners of rectangles, you always have 90 degrees. So I've got 90 degrees in this corner, and that means that so far in this triangle here, I have now got 90 and 36 is 126 degrees so far, uh, which makes this angle down the bottom 54 degrees. So I've got 54 down there. Okay, so that's just using the angles in the triangle at the 180. Now I'm going to use the fact that angles at a point on a straight line have to add up to 180. So these three are going to add up to 180. If I add these two, I've got 119, so that's 119 so far for these two. Um, and therefore that one has got to be 61 degrees for the angles at a point on a line at the 180. So there you go, I've got 61 degrees. 
Next question. It says x, y, z is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle, we know the angles in equilateral triangles, x, y, z, so this triangle here, we know angles in triangles are always 60 degrees, so we've got 60 degrees all over, put them in. Okay. Now there's a couple of ways to go around this one. Uh, I'm just going to find all the angles, so I'm going to get this one next. And what I know here is, angles at this point on the line have to add up to 180, so that gives me 120 degrees on this side of the line. And then I can look at this triangle and say to myself, well, 120 and 140 is 160. Uh, so I've got 160 degrees so far, and therefore that one must be 20 degrees because angles in this triangle have to add up to 180. So here we have to have 20 degrees for x. So I'm just using the basic facts in, in triangles, but trying to spot everything I can. Last question, I've got P, P, Q, R, isosceles triangle, where P and Q is equal to P to R. So P to Q, that one, is equal to P to R, P to R is this one over here, when the base angles in isosceles triangles are the same, so the angles at the bottom of the lines are the same, so that one and that one are the same, so now I've got 70 degrees up here. Uh, next job is, I reckon I can get this one, because angles at a point on the line have to add up to 180. That gives me this one to be 110 degrees. And then I've got angles in this triangle on the top have to add up to 180. So, so far I've got 142 degrees so far, which means this one has to be 38 degrees to get to 180 for angles in a triangle. And that was it. Okay, the um, nice thing that I had was the actual pictures on paper. So this is a task where you're going to have to sketch out what uh, questions you asked and then you can write all over the place. Look, I notice on this one, I had to work out this angle, but to get this angle, I had to have these two, I had to have that one, and then I got to this one at the end of the game. Okay, and that's how it often is with angles. You have to work out one angle, but you've got to work to do some other work uh, to get there. Have fun.